Hi guys, Squirrel here, and welcome to episode 6 of my Let's Play Bridge Project, where I basically attempt to construct bridges and come up with some utterly bizarre creations, annoy the crap out of structural engineers, and generally make myself look stupid. All for your enjoyment. Let's get on with it. Alright, we're going to try this varied map number 5. Um, that'll bring everything onto 6 on the main menu, which is good. This is an enormous bridge. And we've got to put up with five buses, six cars and three trains. And all we've got to go from... Oops. We've got steel, iron and roadway. I don't think... Do we need cross pieces? I'm worried about the trains, but I'm thinking... Man, it is quite a long span. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I would say not, and then put the cross pieces underneath. So, let's start off with that. And that. And they've not got the crossbars in, have they? No. Okay. Obviously, this is a critical one. It's not going to make it over there. Hmm. In that case... How far can we go with... How about two... Why is that a benefit? I'm thinking that this is the centre part here, isn't it? Now we could apex it though, like here. Actually, that might not be a bad plan. There you go. So now we've got to somehow transmit the weight of this in both directions. Now we can go straight down. What have we got again? Iron and steel. Okay, so we're going to need steel at the bottom here because that's going to be taking most of the strain, I think. How much steel have we got? 400 meters. We've only got 200 meters of iron left. Okay. How do we transmit the force of that point across here? We're 58 of steel left. It's an interesting one. Certainly is an interesting one. We can't go all the way across there, can we? I was thinking that would be a, a wonderful triangle if we could do that. Mind you, we could still do it if we do it a bit shorter. What's the maximum we can do? I'm getting rather crazy with my designs here, but... I like to experiment. So we build this crazy triangle, right? This is how we start. <laughs> build this crazy triangle. Which itself is crazy connected like this. <laughs> this is this is probably the most random thing. If there are I mean I know there are structural engineers who watch my videos and they go Oh my god, what are you doing? But it works! I'm going to teach you all. I'm going to teach you some new radical thinking. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Not really. I'm just going to randomly play this until something works. Um, How do we get that? How do we get the... Okay, that's going to pull that way. It's going to pull that way. That's going to pull that way, and it's not transmitting any force that way yet. Which is not a good thing. That's too far. But what we can do is go across. What if we build another triangle like this? So we build a lattice structure and then we take all the weight of that. We could even do that. We could even hang it there, but I'm I'm curious. 
I don't think that steel's going to hold up, but I can't wait to find out. Look at that, it's just like an insane design. I will be amazed if this stays up when a train goes over. But I have got an ace up my sleeve in the form of more steel there and there. I quite like this. What I've done is I've built a lattice structure underneath the bridge and then supported the lattice. So far, so good. I've not even used these, these um, joints either. I've not used quite a lot of stuff. But the question is, will it hold up a train? Watch that steel now, watch it. Oh crap, 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 crap. Oh, my bridge! <laughs> Feck. Actually, I think a lot of that was caused by the road. I didn't... You know, I said at start, I didn't think I needed those cross pieces on the road. I've got a feeling that was a mistake. I've got a feeling I do need it. The question is, can I actually delete this without it destroying... Come on. Can I get that deleted? It's been really weird. There we go. Oh, this game is so weird. No! Select mode. I'm in select mode. There. Now delete. Thank you. Right. Let's get the road and put the cross pieces back. I think this is still a goer. I could be wrong. What? What do you mean material not available? <gasps> I haven't got enough iron left to make the cross. <gasps> oh no! I'm going to have to get rid of something. I'll have to get rid of these here. Put my road back. Because I'm using more iron now. And then we're going to have to use steel for these instead. No, we don't cross on that. No way. There we go. Now, I'm thinking... That could be overkill, that last bit, but... That should keep that... It's a train got here, and then it crushed that part. They should help strengthen it now. So I think there's a lesson there. If you've got trains and tanks, then you're going to need cross pieces on the road itself, otherwise it can't take the strain. Once it gets to the middle of it, it just crushes it completely. So the cross pieces are for load bearing on the road, not for kind of torsional rigidity, I think. That's my current thinking. That steel here is under a massive amount of strain. This may work without those bottom pieces, I don't know. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. So far, so far, so good. Oh, it's creaking! Oh, it's not loving it! Oh, it stayed up! <gasps> that was an only just. It's a horrible bridge. I don't even know if that's anything like good. I don't think it is. But, it's half price, and I'm going to take it. <laughs> Squirrel bridges. The difference. The difference. Alrighty, what have we got? We've got... Oh, we're doing a suspension bridge. We've got suspension cable, normal cable, road, iron, and wood, interestingly enough. Along with three buses, five cars, and the all-important train. Suspension points are here, not surprisingly. And here, and here. Nothing down the bottom there. The train is going to need the cross piece, so we're going to build our road first. Although, having said that, if we're going to be suspending it, then... We could have a suspension cable there, and there. Or rather, a cable across there like that, and then suspend it here. Hmm. So where do we want the joints? That's the question. The joint can go here or here. It's going to be stronger if it's there, I think. There's two theories here. Put more joints in so we can have more more cable connection points. 
or put longer pieces in but the joints here and that's more vertical so it depends if one cable could take a train and I've got a feeling it won't so I'm gonna go with my instinct which tells me to build hello oh like that okay so we've got three suspension points on each side. So now I'm thinking, I don't know where we're going to use the wood exactly, I'm not sure. That is concerning me. Let's try it. Where do you want the lowest point to be? Something like that? Oh, that's ridiculous. They line up, but that doesn't line up. That's awful. Is that what the wood's for? Does the wood offset it somehow? I don't know about this. This isn't going to be pretty at all. Don't need that, do we? Maybe go like that. So each one's got each each node has got two cables. Actually, that one's got three. What's to stop you just dragging one from? here to here like that I don't know if that's strong or not let's put it on the other side what do we have going here something like that wasn't it and then get the cable again I've not used this wood I don't know what this wood is for Okay, well, it looks okay, and it looks pretty and symmetrical, but I haven't used any wood, and that's kind of bothering me. I think there's a weak spot here. I'm wondering if the wood's there. I wonder if that, that piece there should be wood. Let's find out. This seems to be the weakest part here. So far, so good. We've got a train to go over. That's the imp all-important train. I got a feeling this train's going for a swim. It's only got one one uh, carriage. There, yeah, yeah, there it goes. Oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, oh dear me, dear me, it's past it. But that wasn't pretty. God, that's not a stay of that bridge, is it? It actually got weak in the middle, which is what I didn't expect. We did it. it. wasn't pretty, but it was done. Okay, we have three boats, three buses, a boat, five cars, and a tank. So it's got to be strong. Oh, good grief! Pistons, and it's got to take a tank. This is going to be interesting. We have two points there and an end point. Obviously, it's got to break in the middle for a bridge. 600 meters of iron, 200 steel. This is going to be a mammoth bridge. What do we do? Well, it's taken a tank, which means we're going to be using up iron on the cross pieces. That's the... where's the center? One, two, three. One, two, three. So the center point is right there. Which means that our road has to run from there. That's going to be our bridge section. And 
remember we have to set that joint, don't we? I'll have to do that in a minute. Open joint. Remember, because we're using a piston, and that's got to split the road, so we're going to need that. Finally, a piece of road here. A piece of road here, right. So I'm thinking this has got to draw up on a piston, so it's got to pull up again here. Which means it's all going to be attached back there. Why we've got two lots of attachments back there, I'm not entirely sure. But I honestly don't know how a tank is going to go over that joint with a piston. That's going to be some strong piston. Okay, so we're going to need to go... Uh, how long is that? That's one and a half. It's one and a half high. We've got one and a half high over here. That should allow the piston to come in there. And now we've just got to transmit the weight back here. But how on earth a tank is going to... This is going to take the strain of a tank over that joint. Feels like we might need some some pull back that way. How much iron have we got? This is going to be difficult. This is going to be difficult. I'm going to use steel across the... Replicate that on the other side. I'm going to use steel because I want it to. I want this is going to take a lot of strain. It's going to have to hold a tank up going across, and that is the only thing that can hold it up. Because none of the weight is going to go that way, because it can't compress. This is my theory, anyway. I'm going to use steel on the upright as well, because that's going to take the strain that way. And then finally, I've got 120 meters left. How much is that? 17 meters there, 24 meters there. We've got plenty of it left. That will be shorter, but may not be strong enough. We'll see what happens. Let's give that a whirl. Oh dear God! Oh no, that's not going to work. Look at it bounce! <laughs> oh dear me! Alright, I'll admit I didn't quite expect that to happen. It sinks in the middle because there's nothing to take the load. It's it's No wonder it takes all this back here. We are going to need these extra supports back here. But I'll tell you what else we need to stop it compressing. We need to... I should have thought of this already, shouldn't I? Oh, not enough. Okay, let me rethink that slightly. Let's get rid of that steel there. We're going to need this. To stop the whole thing compressing. Let's just try that. Oh, dear. Um, we should be able to go that way. Okay. We have a rigid structure. The boat should pass under here, though, because that will come up and match the, uh, and be in line with these structures here. That's looking better, but no, that's not going to take a tank. Oh, my bridge just snapped. That's not strong enough. Wow. Well, this is an interesting one. This has to be steel, apparently. Come on. That's going to have to be steel. I'm not sure we're going to get the steel from right now. But it's not happy with it being iron. We're going to have to swap that out for iron, I think. So let's put that as steel across the top. How 
I'm beginning to wonder about that piece. Would it be better going that way? Would it be better going that way? I think it would. I think it would. Let's try that. Don't forget we've not got we've not used these joints at the back here yet. So we could take that out and push it back there a bit. So can the bridge raise without the bridge collapsing? That's the next question. Yes it can. There's a lot of strain here where I expected it. But that's okay, he's taken it. He's taken the load. There's not a lot of stress on this lot here though. They could be replaced by iron. I could get some steel back there. All the stress is here. These should be steel and that should be iron. That's what I'm getting from this so far. If the tank doesn't make it, then that's what we'll have to do. That joint didn't go back properly, did it? Look, the bridge is... Can you put my bridge back properly, please? Okay, the all-important tank. This isn't going to be pretty. This isn't going to be pretty. He's going to go over the joints. Oh, dear God. He made it. He made it. <laughs> it's a victory. <laughs> Just about. But I would personally... Uh, it was interesting, actually, because these beams at the back don't take a lot of load. God alone knows what the extra joints were for at the back. But I would, I would put steel across here now and, and make that iron. That's the that's what should happen next. On to the next level, but unfortunately we've run out of time, so I'm gonna to have to cut it there. And next time we're gonna do the Canyon Six and sorry, Canyon Seven, Canyon Six and Varied Six, and bring them up to seven. That's what I'm trying to say. That's all for now. Take care, guys, and see you soon.